This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. So eight years to us, and you're considered a new driver still? Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Angie's Transportation LLC out of St. Louis, Missouri. Shout out to Carlos for suggesting this call to Angie's Transportation out of St. Louis, Missouri. This company is a mid-sized company with about 65 trucks, and they know all their drivers by name. They are a Midwest regional company to Southeast, Southwest, and all that other good stuff. They offer in home time, 70 cent per mile, loaded and deadhead. They got brand new trucks. Their trucks is governing that 70, 72 per mile. They got trailers that are 2016s to 2023. They got bonuses that pass if you pass uh, DLT inspections. They also pay for stops. They got your fuel cards, which is at Love's, and all that good stuff that you will be looking for when you look for a company. But let me stop the tape right here. This is where you got to do your due diligence. Y'all got to listen to Uncle Lockout because I'm telling you, when you look for a job, and somebody suggests a, a company to you, you got to get on board with me and look a little bit deeper about this company. Because, yes, we made the call. Are you looking for a new job, Sean, or are you just trying to get some information for your Facebook group? No, I, no, actually, I'm, yeah, I'm basically getting information for myself and for my Facebook group. Yeah, I would prefer, like, if people called me directly, um, and here's why. Because things change daily, and I'd hate for you to give misinformation out. And then someone calls, and I waste their time, or they waste mine. You know, and things have changed, and now we're not a good fit for each other. So I try not to give information besides to the person that's actually going to apply for the job. I'm on the fence, though. I'm, I'm on the fence because, as I said in the, in the community post, this really wasn't a good call. The recruiter, the lady called me back. We played telephone tag. Uh, she finally, We finally got together in a call. And in that call, I asked questions, but the, the questions that I was asking was not getting answered. And also, let me just preface this, that she didn't want me to share any of our conversation because in her words it changed in a week we may change our rates or something you know so so if you tell me that your 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 company which you just which you're offering 70 cent per mile you couldn't tell me what you guys are are what's your cpm or what's your cent per mile yeah i mean we would have to see if you're a good fit for us before we disclose what our rates are um you know we're looking for a certain driver we don't just hire everybody that calls so we we put you through a little test right and i have to, have to ask a bunch of questions and if you fit our criteria then we will disclose those things if not we just don't it's right here on your facebook page that you're offering 70 cent per mile all miles loaded and all miles dead. I mean, am I am I confused here? I mean, this is Angie's transportation out of St. Louis, Missouri. All the information that you put out here, but yet you don't want to you 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 don't want to tell me. I guess what you said you you said that well we want to talk to people that's really really interested and so forth and so on and i get it i understand that you're a busy person you get calls all the time you get a person like me that represents the drivers off the recruiter call channel that helps drivers by the way to make their decisions on whether or not this is a good company to call the call part wasn't all that hot it really wasn't but in that conversation that I had with the young lady, she says, yo, we're looking for a certain type of drivers. I say, I, I say, do you guys accept SAP drivers? She was like, no, but why you ask?
But let me ask you this question, though, since you, you brought that up. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? We do not. Oh, okay. Okay. Why did you ask about the SAP program, then? Uh, because I'm in the Facebook group that has a lot of SAP drivers oh. on there. I said, well, because, you know, I know a lot of drivers that's in the SAP program, and that's one of the questions that's that's been floating around in, 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 our, in our trucker talk. A lot of companies uh, don't uh, don't allow SAP drivers. So she says, no, we don't accept SAP drivers. We only going to we want to accept a particular type of driver. We want we, we want a particular type of driver. I said, OK, well, what kind of drivers are you looking for? Well, I got a set of questions and, and, and just to see if. If you are right fit for us, we're looking for a certain driver. We don't just hire everybody that calls, so we, we put you through a little test, right? And I have to, have to ask a bunch of questions. So let me get this straight: you can ask me questions to see if I'm a good fit for you, but I I when I ask you questions, you you don't want to give me the answers. So how will I know if you're a good fit for me? See, drivers, that's what I always talk about, how recruiters like to come on and just be like, I, I don't know. Don't let a recruiter sweet talk you into, in, into a company that might be shady, if I may say. All right? So let's break it down. Let's break it down. Let's see what Angie's transportation is about. Let's start with their safer score. Let's go there. Bam. There it is. Now, right here, they are authorized for property. Uh, Angie's Transportation LLC and Angie's Transportation. They're located in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. They have 75 trucks, or at least that's what this is at the time, and 71 drivers let's see they have 62 inspections they inspected 122 drivers they've been out of service 17 times okay okay your, your normal your, your normal stuff right here but let's go to the sms results now, here is where we get into the nitty gritty. That's what I'm telling you. Drivers, you got to understand that when you do your due diligence with this company, not only that you want to, quote unquote, talk to the drivers that have driven there, but you also want to talk to the recruiter to get a feel for it because the recruiter is like the gatekeeper. If the, if the gatekeeper is giving you good information, making you feel good about the company, then that's what it is. But if the gatekeeper is being all rude and 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 what have you, then you got to have some reservations. You got to go a little bit deeper. Let's go to their unsafe driving, shall we? Let's bring that up. Unsafe driving violations, 21. Driver's inspections with unsafe driving violations, 21. Let's bring it down. Let's see what's, let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. They got 21 violations. Let's see. The first one is speeding. Uh, six, miles, six, mile, six to 10 miles over the speed limit. They got seven. Failure to obey traffic control device for that's that's them that's them drivers that been blowing the 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 way stations. That that's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. They blowing the way stations. I wonder what their excuses are. Like, you know, I I, I thought my easy pass is I can go past, but it 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 really didn't. But let's continue. Uh, lane violations, three. Uh, failure to use a seatbelt while operating the CMV. 
Hmm. Okay. Inattentive driving. Speeding 11 mile, eleven to 14 miles over the speed limit. Speeding 15 miles over the speed limit. They also got a convention of a different charge. Unlawfully park and or leaving vehicle in the roadway. Uh, I, I think they got a ticket for being in the shoulder. Failure to yield right away. They also have a citation uh, in a different charge. And they had a driver that used a mobile telephone while operating a CMV. Mm. 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 But you know what, drivers? This same recruiter told me that with eight years of experience, I, I got eight years of experience, right? She told me that we still consider you as a new driver. Yeah, so eight years. Uh, a lot of our drivers have 20 to 30 to 40 years experience. Um, so eight years to us, you're considered a new driver still. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we got drivers that been here for like, you know, 15, 20 years. You know, you with eight years of experience, you, you only got, you know, you're still a new driver to us. Really? But yet you got you you got drivers that that got citations seven times for speeding, four times for blowing the 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 way stations, and three times for for lane violations, lane restrictions. What your drivers drove in the left lane for too long? What's up? And you got a driver for for you know for the handheld the device the cell phone. I, I thought you told me that you was looking for uh, qualified drivers. We're looking for a certain driver. We don't just hire everybody that calls. So we we put you through a little test, right? And I have to have to ask a bunch of questions. We're looking for a certain driver. Well, maybe you are looking for a certain driver. I guess. I guess you are looking for a certain driver because the drivers that you got don't look like they're doing a pretty good job, according to uh, your violation summary here. Just saying. Let's see. Minnesota, Tennessee, New Mexico, Illinois. Let's see. This one right here in Illinois, using a handheld mobile phone while operating the CMV. This was, this was recent. 228-2023. Nine o'clock, 930 in the morning. Mm. 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 Let's see. Failure to obey traffic control device. Let's see. This one right here was in Georgia. And this one is recent. This one was in uh, January. Okay. Okay. Uh, Seatbelt. Let's, let's see. Let's see. Uh, this was... Uh, about a year ago. So this is this is uh June of last year. Uh this was a level two walk around. And let's see. Uh failure to use seatbelt while operating the CMV. False report of driver records of on duty status. Okay. Let's Let's go to the hours of service. Curious about that one. I'm curious. 15 violations out of 122 inspections. Let's go to the violations. Let's see what's up. So five drivers falsely reported records of duty status. Two drivers falsely reported duty status 
improper use of personal convenience exceptions. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, wait. Are, are you that company, Angie? Uh-oh. I'll make up for it now. Angie, are, are you that, that company? I don't know. I mean, drivers, if y'all looking for that particular company, man, hey, there, there it is. Uh, ELD, no record of duty status from two drivers. Driver failed to maintain supply of blank driver records for duty status. Driver failed to manually add trailer. Now, I, I understand. That's that's kind of petty. That That's petty right there. I mean, it's not petty, but it's, it, it is kind of petty because a lot of the times, you know, we forget to put that type of information in there. Uh, driver f driver failed to manually add uh, shipping documents. That, 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 that's kind of petty, too. I mean, you know, not all all the time that we put the information into Sam Sarah, but trust me, I, I, I put it all in there now. The trailer number, uh, all documentations from the bill of lading, all that shit. I, it's, it's all in there now, man. I don't want them messing with my... I, Every time I use personal conveyance, I make sure that I have it documented. That's what you guys got to do, especially with personal conveyance. If you're looking for a place, if you get stuck in traffic, make sure you document that because that is your responsibility. All right? Now, the only thing you can't, uh, you, you can't advance the load, but... If you're in a situation that you need to find somewhere to park or you're stuck in traffic and you run out of hours or anything of that matter, just make sure you put it the notes. OK, let's continue. Uh, driver failed to certify the accuracy. That means they didn't you know, they didn't certify after a couple of days or whatever. Driving beyond the 11 hour limit. And record of duty status violations. Let's see where they. Let's see where they was hit at. Let's see, New Mexico, New Mexico, New Mexico. Let's let's see where this one's at. Uh, all right, violations, drivers beyond the eleven hour. Uh, driving limit, property carrying vehicles. Let's see about your vehicle maintenance. Let's let's see how how good y'all y'all keep y'all vehicles up. Vehicle maintenance violations: fifty four out of sixty three inspections. You got flat tire, audible air leak, eleven violations. Improper required lamp seven, improper brake lamps four, no discharge under, I mean, unsecured fire extinguisher four. Drivers, you got to make sure that your fire extinguisher is secured and up to date. Definitely make sure you check that. Like when you take it to the shop, you take out the fire extinguisher and have them to give it the once over. If everything's good to go, you put it back in your truck and keep on rolling. But at least once in a while while you have to shop, just make sure that they give your fire extinguisher the once over. Because if you don't and, and DLT finds anything to matter with it, you will get popped for it. In, in operative turn signals, mud flaps. God damn, they got a lot. Oil and grease leak. God damn, they got they got pop for that. Whew. All right, driver. So Angie, transportation out of St. Louis, Missouri. So so far, you know, with everything you learned from the FMCSA. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, drivers, if you drive for this company and if this company treats you well, let us know. Let us know how they treat you, man, because like I said, the vibe that I was getting from the recruiter wasn't vibing. I'm just saying. Let's uh let's 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 check out some some 
reviews. I got a couple of them here from Truckers. What is this? Uh, Truckers report. Um, one driver, April 2023, which is recent says that currently driving OTR, miles are great, pay is excellent. If you want to run, this is the company for you. If you're lazy, don't join. But this guy, two years or now three years ago, says, he said, don't. And I mean, don't work for these people. If you need to get home because of family emergency, they will call the cops and say that you stole the truck. We need a little bit more detail in that, sir. That's kind of vague, you know, but we, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe you was on your way home and you didn't get authorization to go home and you just kept on rolling and they called the cops on you. You know, that's why I said some of these uh, some of these reviews drivers, you got, you do got to take it with a gain of salt because some of these drivers be disgruntled and they probably might just say anything just to be saying anything, you know, not, not to say that Angie's transportation is a bad company. I'm just saying, you know, so far for me, for, for me, if I was to say, Hey, let me go ahead and, and, and put my hand in uh, Angie's transportation, I probably wouldn't, you know. Just from everything that I have found out, you know, from the safer, from talking to the recruiter and everything like that, I, 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 I probably wouldn't. Here in a Google review, just three months ago, this guy says, refuse to verify my appointment. Hmm. Refused to send me a 1099. They wouldn't send my last paycheck. It took 72 days of me calling twice a week until I received my last paycheck. The driver has to pay out of his pocket $45 to deliver to one of their customers, which he wasn't reimbursed. It took three weeks of phone calls to get reimbursed that $45. They wouldn't reimburse me when I went to a place in the future, even though I turned in the receipt. They charged me more than twice the amount of which they said to clean the truck. Hmm. But the response from the owner, though, God damn. Damn it, man. That's a lot to read. Look, look, just just look up Angie's uh, transportation uh, Google reviews because this this is a lot. But let me just say what what he said in the first couple of pair uh, first couple of sentences. It says per the IRS, the 1099 was mailed to you on 131 23 and your last paycheck was paid the day of whenever that may have been okay per the irs we cannot legally refuse to send a 1099 it is your responsibility to provide us with the correct mailing address angie's transportation responds to previous employment verifications in a timely manner depending on the means of the communication mail email telephone fax in the past, we have noticed previous employment verifications go unanswered due to drivers providing the wrong email and fax numbers, and thus we never receive them or they go to the wrong party causing the delays in response. Let me stop right there. Drivers providing the wrong, uh, I don't know. I mean, the only thing that we can provide is the fact that we 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 provide that we work for you. And then the company that's looking for verification, they kind of like do their due diligence to find it. So what are you trying to say? The the company finding the wrong email, finding the wrong phone number? I mean, I I mean, I I found you guys on on the web. This, this is the website right here. This is the website. Y'all claim to be 
the first woman-owned company founded in 2012. Angie Transportation is the number one certified woman-owned company and operating trucking company based out of St. Louis, Missouri. Angie's Transportation is the leading carrier of dry goods in the Midwest, operating across 49 states and Canada. Angie specializes in FTL, LTL, warehouse, cross docking, intermodal, and trailer storage. So, I, I mean, I did come across y'all face. I mean, y'all, I, I did come across y'all website. That's a good thing. Y'all do have a website. But again, like I said, drivers, you got to go a little bit deeper in doing your homework with these type of companies. Let's go back to the reviews. Uh, this driver says he, he, well, this is last year. Well, this is like three years ago. So, I mean, can you, can you take that as an account for, you know, them giving a review three years ago? I mean, this is what happened three years ago, right? He said, I must say that these people do, I must say that these people do not treat you like any other company. Load after load, dispatch, before you are empty, no sitting, no waiting. They really know how to treat their drivers. Hell, I feel like I'm the one who's important to the company. That was three years ago. Are you still their driver? Doug, are you still there? This driver right here, six years ago, says, worst place to work for. They lie to the broker. They run two law books and they have you lie on e-logs. They don't know how to plan drivers at all. Oh, and if you quit, they'll find a way to keep your money. Let's see what Oh, the owner, owner didn't have a clap back for that one. Hmm. Owner did not have a clap back for that one. So, again, drivers, um, I did make the call to uh, Angie's Transportation. Uh, I got a little bit of information before I, before I was hung up. If you're wanting to work here and apply, then you're more than welcome to. But I, otherwise, I can't just... <laughs> All righty. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I appreciate your time, though. Oh, yes, I was hung up on... Uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. It really wasn't a good call. It really wasn't. I mean, uh, I mean, she didn't answer anything, anything at all. Nothing. I mean, she wouldn't say what kind of trucks there was. She wouldn't say where they was governed at. She wouldn't give us the cent per mile. And last but not least, this is a 1099 company driver company job. This is a 1099 position. So 1099 means you're your own um, contractor. So you don't have benefits. We do offer some that you're, um, they start day one, but typically 1099 does not have benefits. So you got to be an independent contractor to be a company driver with this company. What do you guys think, man? I mean, drivers, if you driven for Angie's Transportation out of St. Louis, Missouri, let us know in the comments below. Let us know of your experience with this company. I mean, this company been in been in business for a good while. They only had maybe two or three disgruntled drivers that gave bad reviews. So I'm I'm gonna assume it's not all that bad, especially if she said that they got drivers that been there for like, you know, 15, 20 years. But I don't know though. I mean, after going after looking at the safer uh, you know, they safer profile. What do you think? What do you think? Maybe, maybe, you know, the recruiter probably might be, you know, more reserved to talk to you if you're definitely, definitely interested in coming and driving for Angie's transportation. Because I tell you what, sir, ma'am, 
She wasn't with me. That's going to do it. I am your host, Lockout Men. This is the MTC on the Recruiter Call Channel. Who do you want called next, man? Let us know. Get your suggestions in the comments below. Or you can email your suggestions to Lockout Men Podcast Guest at gmail.com. Or you can always DM me who you want called next. Make sure you support the calls, man, because these calls are not sponsored. But I do love to drink some coffee. So whatever you guys want to put your suggestion in, that's a good way into getting it out there quicker. Put it in the cash app, dollar sign lockout men. Let me know who you want to call, and I will get that call in. Make sure you guys stay tuned to all of the community posts because when I make the calls, I get it up on a community post to let you guys know that it's called. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification. Make sure you hit everything so that when the episode comes out, you'll be up on top. Thank you very much for listening. Until next time, everybody. Who's next? Next, next, next.